Today we're going to be looking at the hymn Kumbaya. Uh, most of us know this hymn from um, whenever somebody brings a guitar to a campfire. No, I am not at a campfire right now. I'm at my house. And uh, no, I'm not at a Boy Scout meet. Um, but I'm here to suggest this hymn actually has a little more depth than we usually give it. Um, most of the time we only sing the first verse, Kumbaya, my Lord, Kumbaya. And I have um, put the rest of the verses, all five verses that were written for this hymn, Hear, hear me crying, Lord. Hear me singing, Lord. Verse 4, hear me praying, Lord. And number 5, oh, I need you, Lord. And um, when you put the other verses in, it kind of gives a little more depth to this piece. So check out the other lyrics, okay? Um, when you're looking at the sheet music. All right, well, let's get started. Um, this song is pretty pretty simple. Um, the chords, not too many compared to the other hymns I've uh, posted in the past. And as you can see, it's pretty easy. Um, if you're a beginner, you can play drone style and just play the um, just the, the notes on the D string. So, but if you want to be a little more adventurous, try out my arrangement um, for how I wrote it. So, remember thirds. Um, I guess it's becoming a little bit of my trademark. But um, two three, moving up to four five. G. D, open, E minor, which is thumb, 1-1, one, one, A chord, okay, and repeat that, G chord, back to the D, E minor, A, so all together, G, D, open, D, E minor, D, A, D, D, E minor, D. As you see, in the sheet music, second to last measure, there's a pull off. All you do is pluck it once and pull off your finger. And you can do that at any measure. These are all just pull-offs, and I'm not even touching it. That's how we trill on the dulcimer. But this is a very simple pull-off. A. Okay? Very easy. There are five verses to this hymn, and you probably don't want to play the exact same thing again and again. So, let's talk about some ways that you can vary up your playing, shall we? Alright, well one thing you can do is, um, I, I discussed this in my first book, The Dulcimer Hymnal Volume 1, it's a technique called octave flipping. Now, whatever you play on the top D string, you can always bring it down to the low D string. For example, instead of going you can always go minor, D, A. Okay? So how you had the E minor like this? Go like this. Kind of like that uh, G chord. Mm -hmm. E minor, D, A. Let's go to the next part. And with the G chord, it's 5th fret, 6th fret, open. And then you have the E minor, pull off, A, open, okay? So that's one thing you can do. It's called octave flipping. The other way um, is um, doing unisons, all right? So you're playing two notes right here. Let's say um, put your pinky on the second fret, <clears throat> skip two frets, and then put your first finger down. See, same note. It's kind of a cool effect. So 
So again, pinky, skip two frets, same note. Pretty cool, huh? So, and you can also do that with the bottom string too, just skip two frets. So those are two ways that you can vary up your playing. Again, um, you can always have the thirds, and all that is is just pick a fret, go to the next string, up one fret. So this is four, this is five. Um, the other way is doing six notes below, which is this, and four, skip one fret the other way, and down one string. And this is how pianists um, thicken up their melodies. Um, a lot of times you'll hear holy, 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 even new tunes like um, how deep the Father's love for us, um, how great is our God. The way that pianists thicken up the melody with their right hand when they're playing, um, they put a third above the melody or a third below the melody or a sixth below the melody. And a sixth and a third, all I'm talking about is three notes apart, three notes away from the melody note six notes away from the melody note. Okay? So that's all that is. And again, this one, it's just octaves, or you can call it unison. And again, it's just skipping two frets. So, hope that's useful for you. Try it some, with some of the other tunes, you know. Um, be it be, um, uh, violin or banjo tunes, um, gospel tunes, hymns, whatever. They, they work with anything. Um, flipping octaves is is another great um, way of just varying up your tunes. And they work with most of the tunes I have in uh, the Dulcimer Hymnal 1 and um, the upcoming Dulcimer Hymnal 2 tunes also, all right? So stay tuned for next week um, when I bring up a new video. So thanks for joining in. Let's play this hymn together. One, two. Time.